Hello my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. I hope you all are having an enjoyable day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are, and I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here to bring you another pick a card reading, and today we are looking into your person's honest feelings about you at this very moment. So we have here three piles to choose from. We have a first pile here with the four of wands, the second pile with the nine of cups, and the third pile with the ace of pentacles. So um, feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. Just keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not all the messages will resonate and that's okay. Just take what does and leave what doesn't. If you feel guided to get a personal reading for me, all that information will be down below in the description box. Um, and then I just want to give a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting me, my channel, in whatever way you felt guided to do so. Thank you all so much for your support, your kindness, your time. Um, it really means a lot to me and I'm just so grateful that these readings are providing you a sense of insights or guidance or entertainment for whatever reason you want to watch the reading um so yeah so thank you all so much so without further ado here let's get on to your reading hello pile one and welcome to your reading if you chose the four of wands this is your reading for their honest feelings towards you right now so I don't know why, but I'm like really giddy right now. <laughs> like I'm really excited, um, which is weird because I was fine. Like I was very like calm when I was laying out your cards. And then all of a sudden I started, as soon as I hit record, like I got really giddy and really excited. So I feel like your person, honestly, right now, how they're feeling towards you is really excited or giddy. Like they're excited to see you or they're excited to speak to you. Um, I'm hearing to roll with you. So I don't know really know what that means but it's something about it is really like happy like it's a really joyful feeling so I feel like um you're gonna hear from this person soon and it's gonna make you really really happy also this person's really really happy to like talk to you or like to reach out to you this person is about to like take a chance or like some type of leap of faith and like call you with a love call here like um, it doesn't have to be a call but I do feel like this person's gonna get in touch with you some way somehow and for them, it feels like a risk because I feel like this person hasn't spoken to you in a long time, one, and so they're nervous whether or not you want to hear from them or I'm hearing you can expect to, to hear a call from me soon. So yeah, so um, yeah, they're nervous about whether you want to hear from them, whether you'll like receive their call or like answer their call or like, you know, respond to them. I feel like this person wants to tell you their feelings, honestly. Um, I mean, this person has like really like, a lot of joyfully I want to say deep feelings but something about it is light like it's very like almost like puppy love but like a deeper puppy love like this person's like kind of just in love like in awe of you I heard so they have feelings for you this person really misses you I think that's the first thing they're gonna let you know is that they miss you I think you're gonna know by them reaching out that they miss you because I really do feel like you haven't heard from this person in a very very long time um, another thing that I'm picking up is that they are feeling deeply remorseful about something and something that had to do with um, trust. So this person feels like they broke your trust, like you don't trust them, like they're going to have to win your trust back. And I think they're definitely up for the challenge. I don't see this being a problem in their like energy. Like this person knows they're going to have to win your trust back or like win back your love or like you know somehow some way like get you to like open up to them again and trust them again so this person's very excited to like get the ball rolling to like get this started i think they're very they're very hype i'm getting like a hype energy like they're very very like very like yeah like let's do this like we're gonna do like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna like reach out we're gonna like meet up and we're gonna like reconcile um because we do have reconciliation and relationship here so when this person reaches out i do feel like they're gonna talk about wanting to be in a relationship with you honestly how they feel is like they feel like they want to be with you they feel like they want a commitment with you they want you to be their partner they want a second chance with you they want to get back together with you strongly this person misses you we have like three cards here that speak about i miss you so we have here i want to get back together with you i miss you so much the love call um card has i miss you and then the reconciliation has i miss you so this person misses you hands down i think that's the first thing that they're gonna say it could even be like their opening line is that they miss you um, and they just cannot wait to like, I'm hearing like receive you or receive your call or to like get in touch with you. Like this person's very, very excited. Like 
they can't bottle up their emotions any longer when you have that message here so this person's ready to like lay it out all on the table like they're ready to start finally start like loving you and like being open to loving you being open to like receiving love from you i think they're like it's i'm getting like a very childlike energy from them like they're very excited like page of wands or page of cups type of vibe um they just feel like this is the right move to make like this is the right direction to go in they want this to work they want to work on this relationship with you they don't want it to be over and I do feel like in the past, this person may have had a fear of being too needy or too like, or too fearful. So this person either, I, I don't think this person was as open to uh, express how they feel about you or express that they want a relationship with you. And even if they did, I don't think it was something that they really followed through. Oh, excuse me. They followed through on. So I do feel like they were like feeling in the past, like they were too needy or like I said, like fearful of this fearful that you wouldn't feel the same way because we have seeking reassurance here so they would push you away before you could push them away which just made things more difficult and extremely like unnecessarily challenging and like um oh my god i wanted to say something i feel lost my thought but anyways like this person's like ready like ooh, sabotaging this person's ready to like no longer sabotage this relationship they want to build trust with you they want to like start anew with you reunite with you strong reunion vibes here so this could be like your soulmate or um just someone you have a very deep well you have deeply here very deep strong soul bond with and this person is deeply in love with you they want commitment with you they want marriage with you they want to discover the true purpose of this relationship and in order to do that they know they have to commit they don't want to be like on the fence anymore i think this person was on the fence in the past i think they were really like between worlds or between like being single having their single life and then having like a committed life and i think this person's finally ready to like give up their single life and have like a committed something serious committed and like trustworthy with you so um yeah this person was very vague in the past and like very like hinting and had hidden meanings to certain things like i don't know this person just was not straightforward was not transparent with you this time they're definitely going to be transparent with you and straightforward i feel like this person has been um practicing a lot of self-love has been like really in this energy of really focusing on themselves and i think you have been as well which is why they feel like they're ready to come together and they're ready to like even if you reject them i mean they're really really hoping you won't but even if you reject them this person feels like they're gonna be okay whatever the case whatever the outcome may be in terms of like how you respond to what they have to tell you um they do have a bit of a strategy with this so i feel like when this person reaches out they may not be i mean they're definitely going to say they miss you i think that's i literally think that's how they're going to like start the conversation and then kind of take it from there but they know you don't trust them and they're like i said they're willing to put in the work for you to be able to trust them but so they have a strategy but i'm not really picking up what that strategy is because they may think or they may feel your bitterness or your like anger or resentment towards them or um <sighs> okay so they may have ghosted you or something or like gave you the cold shoulder or like kind of gave you the silent treatment maybe after an argument or after some type of conversation like they gave you the cold shoulder this is why I'm picking up you haven't heard from this person in a long time and oh wow okay sorry I'm just hearing like fuck it I'm just gonna reach out to them so if this person ghosted you or gave you the cold shoulder like let's say like it's been like six months maybe even a year since you've heard this heard from this person um they're just gonna like just pop up on your phone you know what I mean like they're just gonna be like like I miss you or something like that like they don't know the right way to approach the situation because of how they left the situation so they're just gonna do whatever they feel it's funny because it's like it's just kind of like like you know like when you haven't heard from someone in a very long time like in like maybe i don't i wouldn't say years but maybe like months and then they're just like hey or like i miss you it's just like how like what, what do you mean like you know what i mean like they ghosted you like it's just kind of like they're like it's almost like this person's trying to antagonize you not to like 
purposely upset you but to like get a reaction out of you to kind of see if you like still care or you still like have feelings for them you know what I mean that's the vibe I'm getting from this bitterness card and like anytime this card comes out I never know how to read it like I don't know it's just always blank for me I have no idea why but that's the vibe I'm getting from this in your particular situation so it's like this person knows you're like angry at them or they think you're still gonna be angry at them or like resent them and they know that and so they're kind of like poking the bear or pushing your buttons because I feel like this person really knows like all the buttons to push to like piss you off or make you happy or something like that but they're prepared to like win you over like they're prepared for this like so if you do get angry with this person when they reach out or like maybe you don't even respond to this person like you give them the silent treatment or you ghost them or something they're prepared to like respond to that like they know like they it's almost like they're like um what's the word not accepting um anticipating that this is what how this is how you're going to respond to them reaching out and saying like I miss you or something something like that that's just kind of like mm, a little bit inappropriate given the fact that they like ghosted you or like you know gave you the cold shoulder or something like that but it's like they're prepared to like win you back like they know how to win you back because they love you <laughs> because they're like serious about you like they're deeply in love with you and they know that you deeply love them and I think this is something that you may do not a lot but you've done before like if this person um ghosted you in the past for a while and like then popped up and you were like maybe I don't know giving them the cold shoulder or pretending you didn't know that something like that like they know how to like work that like I think that's your guys's like mo a little bit like you know like you just you know like that's your not your cycle but that's what's the word like your repertoire like your kind of rapport with this person like in the beginning especially since I feel like them ghosting you is a common thing I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that moving forward but um because this person wants a relationship with you like for real like a committed relationship with you like they seriously like want a second chance they want to get back together with you and they don't want to like leave you or be in separation from you anymore like this person feels like they can't live without you um hence the message please don't leave me i'm so sorry i can't live without you so yeah this person's serious i don't think this you're gonna have to worry about this person like ghosting you or like leaving you or like anything like that they're very very determined serious genuine sincere in coming back towards you because they really really want you um and they really want to work on this but that's the vibe i'm getting like this person's gonna like almost like purposely like a little bit like antagonize you just to see like how you respond and no matter how you respond this person has like a strategy on how to respond to your response like they know what to do to like get you to like see them or say yes to seeing them or like you know they they know they know they know you <laughs> they know all your ins and outs and everything like that even if you've changed even if you feel like you're a different person this person knows you like you both are very strongly like connected because you both are like I want to say the same people like you both kind of have the same mental like very strong mental very strong like um emotional and mental like what do I want to say like you both are like I'm getting twin flamey vibes here so like you both are kind of like the same soul so you know how to like talk to each other even when you don't talk to each other even when you're mad even when you're like happy or upset like you know how to like help the other person and I think you both are really attuned to like yourselves and like how you respond to certain things and like how to cope or how to like cope in a healthy way or like how to like just how to have a healthy relationship with yourself and because of this you both are able to have a healthy relationship with each other yeah um i also feel like their honest feelings towards you right now is that they really want to get busy with you i just hear rolling around so this person wants to roll around with you this person wants to be really affectionate with you they really want to be with you i feel like it's been a very long time since you both have been like sexually intimate and this person is ready like they're ready to see you they're ready to see your body like they hope you're ready um this person's gonna lay it on you like they plan on pleasing you like no other person like if if you were sexually intimate with this person in the past and it was like a1 i think this time around they're gonna be like what's higher than a1 like like they're gonna like i'm like i'm just hearing like i'm gonna give pile one like 
pleasure beyond like existence like cosmic like this is like you could have like a kundalini awakening with this person like that's how serious this person is because they are very very serious about you and they i think the next time you guys are intimate or see each other this person's going to be very emotionally like intimate or emotionally vulnerable with you and that's going to kind of solidify a more attraction to each other or a more like intimate sexual um intimate type of thing i feel like it's just going to be a lot of love making like a lot um and like a lot of like this person is going to be very very affectionate i'm just getting this person really misses like your body like holding you holding your hand hugging you kissing you like this is like they're, they're very very serious about you like they love being intimate with you and they've missed it for a very long time and it really does mean a lot to them being intimate with you and it's like their most comfortable way of showing you that they love you without words but i do think you're gonna get the words and the sexual intimacy and i think this is gonna be the start of you rebuilding trust with one another but this is definitely leading to some type of strong commitment and like yeah like partnership between you both and they're definitely like something yeah we have risk here twice i didn't even see this risk taking um yeah they're listening to their intuition now like they're they feel like the odds are not wait no they feel like against all odds like this will work out some way like i think in the past this person felt like the odds were against them or the odds were not in their favor but now they feel like now's the time to take action like now they have courage like right now like so i wouldn't be surprised if you hear from this person like today honestly um very soon like in the next like 24 48 hours 72 hours from now like i i I really do feel that really strong and then with gossip here this could be why they were like in this like vague energy in the past like I think there was a lot of people whispering things in their ear trying to like sabotage this connection trying to sabotage them interfering I think there was a lot of deception and lies there's a lot of confusion I'm hearing and misunderstandings and miscommunication and they feel like maybe you've heard something or you've think something that's not true that's actually just gossip it's just someone trying to like interfere trying to deceive you from like being together if that makes sense and it's like whatever it is it's speculatory I don't know if that's a word but that's what I was hearing it's like it's like it's all speculation or something so they do also have some explaining to do about certain things but I don't I think it's going to be a very like vague conversation they don't want to dwell on that too much because this person just really wants to be with you like that's their end goal is to be with you to solidify like at the end of the day like at the end of this conversation at the end of your like meeting with this person you will be together like they will make that very clear like they want you they don't want to be without you like they will make plans to see you again like the next day or as, as soon as possible whenever you both are free like this person is very very like I want to be around you as much as possible they want to spend so much time with you which is so sweet I love this um long overdue I'm hearing but yeah this could be definitely leading to marriage with the four of wands here it's like this person wants success and victory with you after such a long time of challenges and disruptions and like you know a lot of like anger and resentment and stuff but yeah um so that is what i see for you guys so i'm gonna leave it here so i hope this was helpful um i hope this provided you with some deeper insight and guidance to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile i'm sending you all so much love thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care okay hello pile two and welcome to your reading if you chose the nine of cups this is your reading for their honest feelings towards you right now so let's get into this because i have a lot of stuff coming in a lot of messages coming in so firstly we have twin flame here twice which rarely happens in readings so this is a very strong and clear message that this is your twin flame whether you resonate with that term or not if not this is someone that you share a very very divine spiritual connection with this is someone that um has taught you a lot about yourself has taught you a lot about uh has helped you grow spiritually and evolve and become more aware many dark nights of the soul many um you know ego deaths like this is not a like just a sweet romantic we're in love type of situation this this has been very back and forth there have been breakups and makeups and endings and separations and walking away maybe even dating other people i see this i see this really clearly here 
um, with the breakup card and the dating, like there's been a lot of disruptions, a lot of um, empath and maybe narcissist paradigms, a lot of ego, um, a lot of need to like clear your energy and self-care and focus on yourself. There's just been a lot going on in this connection. Let's just say that. So that is what I'm picking up. I do feel like their honest feelings towards you right now is that they want to see you. I think I'm, I'm hearing I'm ready to see you. So I feel like in the past, this person was not ready to see you. They were not ready to tell you how they feel. They were not ready to talk to you even. This person needed to do a lot of self-care, a lot of clearing their energy, a lot of focusing on themselves before they could act on this relationship. And I feel like you feel the same way. Um, your person is now receptive. They're planning to reach out to you. They're planning to move forward with you. They have been planning this. They're, I'm hearing just about ready or they're ready to receive what this relationship is like they feel like this is fated like this is destined like this is meant to happen so i do feel like your person has had some type of awakening recently where they are realizing who you are maybe even realizing what a twin flame or what that type of relationship entails and what it's about and they're ready to, and they're planning around it if that makes sense they're ready to like talk to you about it or like um meet up with you and like tell you how they feel about it um this person's gonna propose some type of or offer you some type of love offer it could be proposal of engagement i feel like that's for like a few of you for most of you this is gonna be a love offer some type of agreement some type of wanting to work things out wanting to try again wanting to like do things differently i do think it's gonna cause some type of tower moment or some type of upheaval for both of your lives like both of your lives are going to change after this meetup or after this person tells you how they feel after this person um yeah after they tell you how they feel like it's going to cause some type of upheaval for both of you um maybe even some drama and i feel like this is more for people around you or something like I don't know there's could be some family members or friends or an ex or something that's like kind of lingering in the picture a little bit and it's gonna cause some like unnecessary drama I'm picking that up really strong and I feel like um I feel like your person could have just broken up with someone so that could be it or you could have um but it's like some type of ending here they broke up with someone or maybe divorced someone and this could be like a lover a friend or a family member but i do feel like your person has been grieving this and they're coming out of that cycle and realizing like it was only it was only you always you and it was always supposed to be you like they're realizing that they've been avoiding this connection and avoiding you because of the connotations of it because it's so powerful because it's so spiritual and divine and they weren't ready for it so this person is realizing like they want you they they want to treat you right they want to make this a wish come true they know you've been wanting them and wishing for them and wanting this to happen for such a long time and i do feel like this it's finally coming together but with storm warning here it's just like i don't know i don't know if you're gonna like um decide to take this person back right away that could be the drama or like the obstacle like you don't trust them i feel like you could be unsure or there could be again i'm also getting that this is related to like a third party it could be this person um that they were dating or involved with or like a family member or a friend that like is just after they hear that you both are coming back together they hear that your person is meeting up with you it's just for some reason causing issues but um yeah it's either of those so either you're not sure what to make of this or how to take this person back or if you can take them seriously and or this is involving a third party but i do feel like you know with the nine of cups being the cover card um it talks about this is the card of like the lovebirds i love this card so like you guys are lovebirds i do feel like there was just a lot of distractions in the past and it was like difficult for you both to make it work because you weren't supposed to it wasn't meant to work back then it wasn't like you weren't ready back then and i I'm, I'm still getting like a difficult decision you know what i mean um like maybe some fear because you just don't know if you can trust this person because maybe they're doing this or they're coming out of the blue with this um so it's it's you're just a little bit apprehensive but yeah you're just not certain i think you need to just give this some time um give this some time for you to be certain is what I'm getting because it's like 
it's very gratifying what is about to happen but you just don't trust it so you may just need some time and with storm warning i would definitely give that time because something's brewing and something needs to play out before you both can like really like solidify this but they are coming to tell you that they want this and they want to try this and they want to work on this with like relationship project here they want to give to you they want to have a future with you or build a future with you they want to like no longer base their worth on like how you feel or like your validation and vice versa like I do feel like your person is not going to take no for an answer so they will give you time if you need time to kind of think things through and like decide whether this is the best thing for you right now um but they're I mean they're not going to try to like manipulate you or anything or like change you but they will give you time if you want to like think things through because I just feel like this person was very like with the narcissist here very narcissistic and may have even like again with wedding um and proposal this person could propose marriage honestly I'm not I'm I'm really do feeling that or propose like a higher level of commitment um or like a lifelong commitment but I do feel like they made this offer to someone else in the past that they are broken up with now but maybe the fact that they did that is what's causing you giving you pause you know it's cause it's some type of cause for concern because you're like well, you broke up with this person that you were married to that you loved and all this stuff and now you broke up with them and now you're saying you love me it's just kind of like i don't know i don't know if you have enough time to process this or if you've really been processing what's been happening and how this person has gone about their life <laughs> and now is coming to this to this is coming to you and coming with you with all this like they love you and you're their person like it's just kind of it could be overwhelming. It could be a lot. I think your advice here is to be receptive um, because this is fated to happen. Like everything that was meant to happen happened for a reason. It was supposed to happen. And maybe you haven't really accepted that fully or surrendered to that fact or really like um, accepted your emotions or how you felt about everything that's happened to a point where you like have forgiven it and have compassion for it and understand that it couldn't have gone different even if you wanted it to. It had to happen this way for you both to learn lessons about um love about your ego about your expectations um how no matter how unrealistic or realistic they were about um you know where you're being selfish or where you're not really being empathetic to each other so everything happened for a reason everything was purposeful but i feel like you haven't fully surrendered to that idea or accepted it or there's still some like healing that you need to do around that which is why this may come as like a surprise a gratifying surprise but also like it has some type of warning around it because there's stuff that may come up that um you may be surprised it's coming up you know what I mean I mean I think this is something you've wished for for such a long time but you're not as happy as you thought you might be um hearing this because there's some lingering resentment or anger coming from the past that needs to be cleared out that you could talk to this person about to your person about but I think a lot of this is about you clearing your own energy and focusing more on yourself before you decide what you want to do with this person and there's no rush I feel like your person's not going to rush you they're not going to take no for an answer but they are not going to rush you if that makes sense because I do feel like this person in the past was very like not caring about your feelings like a lot to the point where it just kind of chipped away at like your self-esteem and your worth and your value and then they, if they chose someone else and married someone else and now they're like divorcing or breaking up with that person or whatever the case it's just like it's just a lot and I feel like you haven't you've processed most of it but I do think there's some lingering things there that need to be processed as well um and they understand that so just be honest and transparent with them they understand you know if you need time like they under they're not like oblivious to the fact that they've like betrayed you and like you know have really like been yo-yoing you around or like in and out or just very indecisive just very egotistical just very kind of narcissistic characteristics and they understand this like obviously you both ended things and were in separation for a reason and so they understand that this may take some time but they're willing to wait and they're willing to work at this they're willing to give you that time because it's like they're like it's just you like they're serious like they're tired of playing the field they're tired of playing around they're tired of denying the fact that it's you and it's always been you um and a lot of this denial was just because they were scared they were scared that you were gonna judge them they were scared that you were gonna abandon them and we do have here i'm terrified that you're moving on from me so this person has been scared that you're gonna move on that when they come in that you're have moved on or you're not even in 
wanting to be involved with them like but they're willing to take that risk because they know you they want you they see you they know who you are to them they know you share a divine connection that can never be broken even if you decide not to give this person another chance even if you decide to like let this go and like move on you'll always be divinely connected to them you know and and vice versa and they love you so much that they're willing to let you go and be happy like they just want you to be happy um, their wish would be to make you happy, to be part of your happiness, but they understand if you decide otherwise, basically. Um, but yeah, so I do feel like they are planning to call you or visit you, reach out to you in a couple weeks here. I do feel like they're planning for this. I feel like they're doing a lot to get ready to like talk to you or reach out to you or meet up with you. Um, and I feel like it's going to be somewhat of a surprise or they want it to be a surprise. But I do feel like they're very, very happy and they want and they're hoping that you will be happy to hear from them and that um, they just want you to know they're coming and they're on their way. So, yeah, that is what I see for you guys. So I'm going to leave it here. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this provided you with some deeper insight and guidance to your situation. If not, feel free to pick another pile. I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you all later. Take care. Hello, pile three. And welcome to your reading. If you chose the ace of pentacles, this is your reading for your person's honest feelings towards you right now. So their honest feelings for you towards you, sweet mother their honest feelings towards you right now is that they are first of all they're like tongue-tied so this person is changing like their feelings for you are changing and because of this they're trying to figure out the right words to say or how to express their feelings to you because again like their feelings for you are changing and we have here i've not been taught how to express my feelings so this person is getting ready to express feelings to you and i think this is a really major big change for them because with mask here this person is always hiding how they feel towards you and towards everybody this person is sometimes even maybe lies about how they feel or deceives a people or especially you how they feel about you or it's just always concealing it always like keeping it under wraps keeping it a secret and i think this is changing this person is going through some type of metamorphosis some type of butterfly they're becoming a butterfly they're growing especially with man, man cave here um or woman cave this is them taking alone time to kind of work through some things work through some wounds work through some shadow work some sadness some depression problem solve trying to kind of understand and reflect on why they feel so isolated and alone and why they have like such a lack of balance in their life especially when it comes to like their relationships and especially their relationship with you where they have like a lack of boundaries um this person has always had a hard time like being assertive in their boundaries having sensible boundaries and i think they're realizing how important that is in order to have like a balanced and healthy relationship this person sees you as a soulmate so this person really loves you and accepts you and respects you even if they've treated you or told you otherwise and i think they have this is how this person really honestly feels especially right now this person still loves you and they want to start all over again with you so i definitely feel like they're getting ready to do so and we have here i can't imagine my life without you so this person is very very serious about you i do feel like with the love letter here they're wanting to write you some type of message or send you some type of message some type of written communication of how they feel expressing their truth expressing how they feel in their heart telling you they miss you um I feel like what they want to say is like the truth though like the truth about how they feel yes but I'm not getting like strong like I love you like romantic vibes I mean we have here I still love you but this person wants to tell you the truth about like the life they've been living I feel like your person has been living a double life or this is how they like are interpreting their life and like what's going on with them and that they're finally surrendering their old ways and their old life for you like this person is making changes to live a more authentic life to be more transparent um and i do feel like when this person talks to you next like they're gonna be in a much better situation and they want you to be proud of the fact that they've done this and they've overcome so much um that and they that and that they like um worthiness i'm getting worthiness that they've changed like their whole sense of self-worth and like self-respect and love and like um accepted themselves for who they are and realizing that they're worthy of love despite their obstacles their challenges or the things they've done or said like this person is finally re realizing that you know 
even though like they've made a lot of mistakes and they feel guilty about they're still like they can still change at any given moment you know what I mean and this person is like wanting to thank you for not giving up on them and I do feel like your person has not given up on you or this relationship I think they just needed to let a lot of things go a lot of like um I'm hearing player ways and like um playing the playing the field playing the side like I'm getting like this person was very like a fear of commitment fear of intimacy like holding on to like and then their false mask and like needing to release this before they could come in in a way that you deserve in a way that's like more honest and transparent um because I do feel like in the past your person has felt like you're too good for them and they were afraid that once you got to know them better that you wouldn't want them and you could find someone better which is why this person like lied to you or hid from you or like ghosted you even like I get a lot of running and avoiding how they feel about you of like running and avoiding you just feeling overwhelmed by how much this person but how much they actually love you how much they have difficulty expressing this I'm, I'm getting so flustered honestly like it's it's a it's very sweet mother it's a lot for them it's very overwhelming like it's not even a joke like it's it's so much because they've been bottling up so much feelings for you that they just rather keep quiet or lie to you or like be in denial about it but this person thinks about you all the time they've been daydreaming about you about this moment where they can like come in and like tell you how they feel like i feel like this person is dying to take action but they're scared um, because they're not really grounded yet in this new change, but they're manifesting you and they're desiring you and this person dreams about you a lot and they have certain goals and desires that they want to share with you that involve you being in their life because this person doesn't want to, first of all, they can't imagine you with, they can't imagine you not in their life and like this person just really wants to be around you. Like they want to spend time with you. I do feel like this person may apologize for like betraying you in some way because we have betrayal here and it says deception, lies, heartbreak, separation, breakup, cheating, third party. I don't think there was like any like cheating or third party. And if it was, I feel like it was more family and friends and like them just like flirting with other people. But I, and a lot of this was just like this false identity, this false mask they were wearing, just trying to portray to the world, to their friends and family that they were someone that they weren't. And I feel like this ultimately betrayed them and it betrayed your trust in them and it betrayed like this whole relationship with you. And they're really, really sorry about that. And they feel like they stabbed you in the back and they feel like the separation is all their fault, honestly, is what I'm getting. So yeah, this person has a lot to make up for when it comes to you I think they're realizing this and they're willing to put in that work not right now but as soon as they're like more grounded in this change and in this like new cycle that they're coming into of like meeting and like you know reuniting with their soul this person's gonna yeah they're gonna want I'm okay here's what's happening right now anytime I have a train of thought right now like I lose it so this person could be like knowing what they want to say and then when they actually when it actually comes to them saying it they forget because I'm I'm all of a sudden that's happening right now so this person is like I feel like in the midst of change or like they're just not grounded they're very like foggy or like just they're very like not here they could be like dreaming really heavily or like sleeping right now I don't know but this person's like not here like because I'm like losing what like my train of thought and it's it's weird um and kind of frustrating so yeah this person is just working on themselves they're working on surrendering and letting go of the old ways they're old um they're they're like hidden motives they're working on balancing and having a more like harmonious relationship with themselves i feel like this person has like because they're going through such a spiritual transformation right now like almost like a uh ego death or like a dark night of the soul i feel like some like they're losing family members or friends or people that they were once close to like they're no longer going to be a part of their life and I think they're grieving that right now or they're soon to be grieving that and this person's you know they understand that it has to happen because this person wants to be able to treat you right and these people in their life weren't treating them right they weren't accepting them for who they really are and they're like obviously tired of that and they're just ready to let these people go except for you this person does not want to let you go they just want to have a healthy balanced relationship with you and have healthy boundaries and express those boundaries and like t and like tell you the truth that they haven't been taught to express feelings they were conditioned to not 
love unconditionally you know what i mean to to manipulate to like disrespect to like you know not maybe not even intentionally but like that's what they were taught and this person wants to tell you that and wants to like help you to learn them so that you can like love them properly and like they can love you properly basically so so yeah that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful um i'm gonna leave it here i hope this was I hope this provided you with some deeper insight and guidance to your situation. If not, feel free to pick another pile. I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you all later. Take care.